guys, so I recently asked on Instagram for your video requests, which is something I do sort of intermittently, and multiple people requested that I film the unpopular opinions tag, which I figured would be easy enough to do, so why not um, do that at your request? It's a tag that's been around for quite a long time, but I've never done it on my channel. It was started by the book Archer, and I will link her channel down below, but without further ado, let's get into my unpopular bookish opinions. Question number one is what is a popular book or series that you don't like? So I've actually in the past done a video on books I think are overhyped, which I'll link down below if you want to hear more of my unpopular opinions, but I think kind of top of the list is either uh, The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, which I know I've mentioned multiple times on this channel, and I feel like I'm like overdoing it a bit at this point because it's not like the worst book ever written, I just do not get why everybody loved it. I thought it was really boring. Um, so that was very much an overhyped book for me that everybody else seems to love. Um, but equally more recently, I did not get the hype about The Power by Naomi Alderman. I thought it was a kind of like average execution of the kind of feminist, dystopian, apocalyptic genre, I think there's far better examples out there and although there was potential, I thought the pacing was so off that I didn't enjoy the reading experience. So interesting concept, for me not well executed, but again, won awards, everyone seemed to love it. So those are two books that are very popular that I don't like. Uh, what can you do? You can't love everything, uh, everything can't be loved by everybody. Next question is an interesting one, it's what's a book or series that you love that everybody else seems to hate? Now I think this is very difficult because I'm not sure I know of any books that everybody seems to hate. Um, I guess it's things like Twilight might come into that if you're a Twilight fan because obviously there's also a lot of like uh, negative reviews going around Twilight as well. I don't really like Twilight, but maybe something that's popular but has got equally as much criticism as it's got popularity. I do like the Suki Stackhouse books, but at the same time I can completely appreciate that they're not like the most phenomenal literature out there. I just think they're kind of like, they hook you in and they're maybe in that kind of category. However, I thought it'd be interesting to look at my Goodreads at the books I've given five stars, so books I genuinely love, and see which one has the lowest average rating. And strangely enough, that's The Vegetarian by Han Kang. It has an average of 3.58, so of all the books I've rated five stars, it's the one with the lowest average. But I think loads of people love this book, and maybe it's just, again, a sort of marmite. Some people just don't really click with it, other people fall in love with it like I did. But it's not a book I constantly see people bash all over the place, although I have known people who just didn't really enjoy it. Um, but that is the book that I have rated the highest with the lowest average rating on Goodreads, so I guess that's the best answer to this question. The next question is what is a love triangle where the main character of the book has ended up with the wrong person in your opinion? So I don't have a lot of strong opinions on features like this in literature. I don't think I read that much that has love triangles. I think it's certainly more of a young adult trope and sometimes I enjoy it, sometimes I don't. I don't have strong feelings either way. Um, and generally speaking, I feel like if it's a book I like, the authors convince me that the person's ended up with the right person. So I don't tend to object to who they end up with. However, if I think back, maybe in my like young adult reading history, there was a series that I read, the Madman's Daughter series, which is a trilogy. I loved the first book, didn't really like the next two books. Maybe part of that is because I don't think she ended up with the right person. I disagree with who she ended up with, and in the first book I was rooting for a different person from who she ends up with, but I don't want to spoil it. If you've read the series, you'll know what I mean. Um, but I'm not that invested in that book series because after book one I didn't love them that much. I do think you could read book one as a standalone though. And controversial opinion, not a love triangle, but a couple I kind of wish had happened in Harry Potter has always been Dean and Luna. Like, you know in the seventh book how Dean and Luna are kind of flung together amidst the sort of um, upheaval in the wizarding world. They're, they're both out of Hogwarts and they get left together at Shell Cottage. I genuinely thought that they would end up such a nice couple in a way that they're like maybe wouldn't have expected to be but through like hard times and um, like we're able to support one another and I always thought that would make a really nice couple but it didn't happen unfortunately. Next up is what is a popular book genre that you hardly reach for and I would say my answer to this is probably contemporary YA. Generally speaking I'm not a massive reader of very everyday realistic 
contemporary novels. Um, I find I prefer contemporary novels that fall more into the literary fiction because um, perhaps the themes are just a bit more relatable to me as an adult or I can get really sucked in by the beautiful writing and it's got some other element to it. But I'm just not that into like contemporary YA. Um, maybe because I'm not a young adult anymore because I did like it when I was a teenager um, But if I read YA, which I do, I prefer reading like fantasy or science fiction, which I think is a lot of fun um, I like my books to kind of be out of this world a little bit different Not something I could really experience. That's what I like from literature So although there are some contemporary young adult novels that I think are phenomenal Generally speaking given how popular it is it's something I don't pick up a lot. We then have, what is a popular or beloved character that you don't like? So this one is actually somebody that, again, I think is Marmite. I don't, is there any character that everybody loves apart from like two people or vice versa? But this is a character that I know lots of people hate and lots of people love. And I'm in the hate category and I don't get why people like him. That's probably where my like opinion um, is in most stark contrast with that uh, popularity and that's Snape. Like seriously, everyone, why do we like Snape? He's basically just like this guy who uh, got friend zoned, I hate that expression, but basically there's this guy who um, got rejected by a girl and then just does not let it go. Um, and I do not think that whole always thing is romantic. If somebody does not want to be with you, let it go. I don't like Snape. I do not think his actions made up for what he did. I think basically Snape did a lot of terrible things and he kind of started to make up for them, but he hardly became amazing. That's my opinion. He still uh, treated Harry abominably at school. Harry was a child and he basically bullied him. He's an adult. It was terrible. You cannot behave that way to 12 year olds. Um, constantly trying to get him expelled. He was horrible. Um, and yeah, the sort of creepy never letting go of his feelings for Lily Potter even though um, he did regret his actions and that's good. I don't think he's an evil character by any way and I think he's an interesting character and I like his inclusion in the books because he creates an interesting uh, character and story arc which fits well with the plot but I don't like him whereas I think some people do like him. Sorry if you do because there'll be people that I like that you don't and we're just gonna have to all live with it. Who's a popular author that you just can't seem to get into? So I'm gonna go with Daphne du Maurier for this. So I've read Daphne du Maurier twice. I've read My Cousin Rachel and uh, Rebecca which are two of her most popular books and they were fine in my opinion. They were just fine. Whereas Lots of people adore Daphne du Maurier. Again, she's not like the worst writer I've ever read. I don't hate her, but I just don't get the hype. Um, and having read two of her books, I don't ever plan on reading any more because I feel like I have given her a shot. I have tasted what she has to offer. Um, I don't think that that varies widely amongst her books because I felt that Rebecca and that my cousin Rachel were quite similar. Um, and I just... Yeah, no, like not for me unfortunately, but people love her and I really thought I would too because people whose tastes I actually have overlap with love her, but it just goes to show there's always those outliers and yeah, I never really got into Daphne du Maurier. We then have what is a book trope that you're tired of seeing. I actually very recently did a video on tropes in books that I hate. Most of them are situated in sexism. I hate, hate, hate anything that uh, falls into the uh, you're not like other girls, you're not like other women uh, category. Hate that. Absolutely. Worst thing. If a book does that seriously and isn't in any way tackling that as a negative mentality, bin it. We then have what is a popular series that you have no interest in reading and I'm sorry to say this because people recommend this book to me a lot and I think that's why I'm conscious that I don't really want to read it because there'll be books that I don't want to read but never really come up that often so I don't think twice about it but a lot of people recommend me Outlander and I just don't want to read it. Sorry. Um, for various reasons, I mean it's just not really something I'm interested in. Um, I've heard a lot of things about the relationship between the main characters, sort of like um, abusive elements, um, scenes that people have talked about that put me off that I'm not interested in reading um, and equally I do find um, in some literature and it can, like, people from outside of Scotland can write good books set in Scotland. That is 
not to say that they can't, but I do find myself rubbed up the wrong way by that slight romanticisation of Scotland um, and Scotland's history. As somebody who is quite familiar with Scottish history, and it's weird, it's like, it just is created sort of like this mirage around Scotland, which is like a country like any other, and it just doesn't work for me. And I'm sure I read books that romanticise other countries um, in a way, but just as somebody from that country, not for me to be honest. And lastly, what is a film or TV show adaptation of a book that you think is better than the book? Always difficult to say better, I think, because obviously the film or TV show is very reliant on that original material being created. The concept is um, the author's own uh, child, they have worked on that, so uh, it would never exist without that. But for personal preference, there are a couple that I prefer and would rather rewatch than reread. So I. Blasphemy, I know, kind of like Lord of the Rings films better than the books. I don't dislike the books. I like the books, but I don't really ever plan on rereading them because I find there are parts of Lord of the Rings that I find a little bit boring and like a slog to get through. I don't like the absence of female characters. However, I think the films are phenomenal and they've translated really well onto the screen and they've done a really great job of uh, capturing the essence of Lord of the Rings but keeping me interested more regularly throughout it. So yes, I like the films better, lots of people disagree, fine. Uh, equally, recently I watched um, Crazy Rich Asians, the film adaptation of the book, and I really liked the book. Um, I think it gave it four out of five stars, which I think it gave to Lord of the Rings as well. But I don't think I'd ever reread it, however I really liked the film, and I think one of the reasons I liked the film a little bit more, or it worked a little bit better for me, is because it has a lot more focus on um, that central couple. It follows um, Rachel and Nikki um, as the central characters, whereas all the books in the series uh, jump around a lot between different characters and there are plot lines and characters in the books I do not care about. Like, I do not care about Cousin Eddie. I just don't want to read about him. I think he's boring and annoying. <laughs> and we don't get that so much in the film because it's more focused on um, these two central characters' narrative. We don't get those kind of side steps into these other characters' lives but I still think the book is good. So those are my answers to the unpopular opinions tag. I'm not going to tag anybody because this tag has been around for what feels like 500 years and I feel like most people have done it if they're interested in doing it but if you want to do it, please do do it and uh, let me know if you've done it in the comments down below. Um, but I'd also love to hear your answers to these questions in the comments as well as discuss with you my answers. Um, always fun, um, don't worry if you uh, hate a book that I love, that's okay too. Uh, but until next time, happy reading and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys!